Today we're gonna to talk about monetary policy and quantitative easing. Well, these are tools used by the Federal Reserve Bank to manipulate interest rates. And the Fed wants to do this because lower interest rates help grow the economy and higher interest rates help slow it down. So depending on where we are with the economy, the Fed might raise or lower interest rates. With today's tough economic climate, the Fed is focused on lowering interest rates. And it does that by going out into the bond market and buying bonds. And we know that when the Fed buys bonds, the price of bonds tend to go up, which causes interest rates to go down. So in normal times, the interest rate curve or the yield curve might look something like this, which is to say as you go out in time, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 20 years, interest rates tend to go up. And when the Fed wants to stimulate the economy, it buys bonds, which causes short-term interest rates to go down, which might cause the yield curve to look something like this. However, sometimes that's not enough, like we're seeing today, where interest rates are very close to zero. And so the Fed has a new policy, which is called quantitative easing, which is to focus on longer-term interest rates these interest rates out here. And so what the Fed does is buys longer term bonds and it hopes that in buying longer term bonds it'll push down the interest rates on these long term bonds. And that would hopefully cause the yield curve to look something like this where we have shorter, uh, lower short term and lower long term bonds. And that would cause much lower interest rates out into time, which hopefully would cause people to borrow more money and companies to borrow more money and to invest and spend more. And that is monetary policy and quantitative easing in a nutshell. Thanks, I'm Hunter Patterson for Two Minute Finance.